Hello, Hackaday. We are Team Arachnopod, and we set out to develop our mechanized prosthetic foot to help further the community in prosthetics. We saw the need of a prosthetic device that would be 3D printable, affordable, and open source to the community. So through usage of Blender, uh, SolidWorks, and other 3D modeling programs, we were able to generate some prototypes for our design and some final concept drawings for what we would like to see it look like when we actually make it. All right, and here's actually a video of one of our 3D printers printing the base of the prosthetic foot. We actually did a pretty extensive material study uh, using our 3D printers, and we printed materials uh, such as PLA, a PLA mixed with carbon fiber and ABS. And in the next couple of clips, you actually see we did a pretty extensive test using these samples that we printed. Right here, you'll see uh, us doing a few tests with our Instron testing machines, and you can see we're pulling these test pieces apart. In this next video here, you'll see we're actually using a pretty old hydraulic uh, compression tester, and that was one of our teammates you saw right there uh, actually operating the testing machine. And you'll see we have one of our uh, ABS test samples uh, in there with a 75% infill. And you can see as the hydraulic press comes down, the test sample uh, fatigues and eventually breaks, as you can see um, right now. After testing the compression samples of our 3D printed uh, parts, we decided to hit the drawing board and make a new foot. We then took this and tested it under compression to make sure that it could hold up to our load requirements for this prosthesis. Um, so we are loading this foot using our compression machine uh, to verify that it can in fact hold the weight of a human uh, with the, the parameters that we have specified. Naturally, the next step in developing a prosthetic foot is balance and control. Here you can see we developed a balancing algorithm using the Arduino hardware platform as well as using 3D printing as a prototyping source. And you can see as my teammate here tips the base, the top piece stays level, ultimately balancing. And this is one of our most recent designs, which features a spring and damper in the rear, which is used to suppress some of the forces that are created when walking. Now to bring this project together, we combined our microcontroller uh, systems with our hydraulics on the structural frame that we had designed and proven would work uh, to develop a benchtop prototype to show the proof of ambulation for our prosthetic limb. Going forward with this project, we'd like to combine the hydraulics and electronic systems into a smaller package, along with increasing the robustness of the uh, structure itself. And in doing so, it will allow the user to 3D print this foot in their very own home um, and walk around on it. And that's really where the Hackaday community comes in. We're looking for your help and support to make this project even greater and help the hacker community take another step forward. Thank you.